Hey guys, welcome to BamaQ Live. I'm Eric from the Rolling Grill here on behalf of Weston Wood. And today we have Hassel Filet Mignon, but not any old Filet Mignon. We're gonna jazz it up with a nice shrimp Alfredo sauce. And I'll show you how to do that. This is super simple. This is like super simple. So first things first, I'm gonna go one clean hand, one dirty hand. Look at the striations of fat in that. You know that's gonna be good. Beautiful striations of fat. We're gonna pair it up with some hardened seasoning. Before I do that, I'm spraying it down. Let me get this out of the way. Spraying it down. All right. Heavy coat. It's a dense piece of meat. Heavy coat. I don't do the sides, but if you want to, I usually I'll just roll them. But a heavy coat of hardened. Now, what we're going to do is a reverse sear. So we're going to reverse sear this over pecan wood in the barrel at about 250 degrees, 275, about 45 minutes. I mean, you're not going to overcook it. Let's go ahead and stick this in the barrel. We got the pecan smoke rolling. We're just going to leave it right there. While that is rolling, we got our grill grates getting hot. Now, the magic is about to happen. Let's make this Alfredo sauce. First things first. Make sure we got it on. All right, I'm gonna cut it down to low. Before I do that, let me move it out the way. Let me move that out the way. Let me get my, I'm gonna show you exactly. I already have some Parmigiano Reggiano and Parmesan cheese right here, but let me show you exactly how to do it the right way. That stuff in the jar, you don't want that. This is Parmesan cheese. A brick of this probably cost you about 10 bucks, last you forever. This is Parmigiano Reggiano. Probably cost you about seven bucks. Last you forever. You can make, you can make about 50 Alfredo sauce. Michael Planner, very important. And all you want to do, you want thin, you want it to come out like snow. It's going to melt fast and it's going to be perfect. And to me, if you're going to make an Alfredo, you have to pair the Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano and the Alfredo together. And you know, however much cheese you want, I already have some. That's probably about a cup. You can't go wrong. Same thing, Parmesan Reggiano. Micro plan, the way to go. All right, we've got our cheese. This is gonna go real fast now. Let's get this out the way. First things first. Butter. It's probably about probably about a little more than a tablespoon. Let's move this over here in the middle. Gotta make sure it's on. And yes, it is on. All right. All right. You wanna you don't want you don't want the bubble the the butter to be um, boiling. You just want it to come to a nice simmer. And what I'm going to do first are the shrimp. Now, I'm not going to season the shrimp. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm not. These are beautiful gulf shrimp. I'm not going to season them. This Alfredo is going to have enough flavor that we don't have to worry about that. But what I want to do first is go ahead and sear them off. You can use crab. I mean, you can use a number of things. I'm not trying to cook them through. All I'm merely trying to do is just brown them up a little bit if I can. All right. Quick flip. Man, this is going to set that filet off. This is going to set that filet out right here. Probably about two to three minutes. Our cheese is right here. You can smell that butter and that shrimp together. Take your shrimp out. We just wanted to wake them up. Now, butter, shrimp, Jew, and butter together. Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Now, the magic is getting ready to happen. And you just want it to melt down. Now, while that's melting a little bit, I've got heavy cream. I've got spinach. That's all we need. 
once it starts to break down a little bit, you want to make sure you turn it down a low. You're not trying to, you're not trying to scorch the cheese. Once it starts to become like creamy like that, heavy cream time. That's probably about two cups. And again, on a low simmer, you don't want to splash it around. And just let it cook. And once this cheese starts to break down, we'll go in with the spinach, we'll go back in with the shrimp, and we'll just put this to the side and just let it warm through. And it's gonna be beautiful. Now, at this point, you could definitely season it up. I'm gonna use some hardened seasoning just to give it a little bit of punch. But that cheese is super, that cheese has plenty of sauce in it. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna overdo it. If you have to, turn it up a little bit. Best Alfredo you ever had. That stuff in the jar can't stand up next to the homemade Alfredo. Once you learn how to make it, I mean, it takes no time. You basically, it's, it's like making, it's like it's no different than making nacho cheese. Okay, now, you can see our cheese is starting to melt, starting to break down. Once I get it, I wanna take it so I don't see any more lumps. Now, while I'm sitting here, you know what, let's jazz it up even more. Let's jazz it up even more. Let's see, what did I do with it? Good old garlic. You no, know what I was thinking. All right. All right, now, turn it down to low. In with the spinach. The spinach is gonna wilt down. Once it starts to wilt, in with the shrimp. You don't have to give it any more heat. The residual heat in this pan is gonna break that spinach down. It's gonna help it release a little bit of its moisture. And as you can see, it's starting to really get, it's gonna start getting real creamy in a minute. Now, back in with the shrimp. At this point, you can put it to the side. You can put it to the side, just let it, let it get happy on low, on real low heat. Now, let's move on to the asparagus. Simple. You put a glove on because you definitely don't want to get this uh, olive oil all over your hand. All right, simple treatment. Again, I'm spraying them. I'm spraying them. Simple. Right here. On the grill grate. That's gonna take no time to cook. This is ready to go. That's ready to go. I'm gonna cut that off. Coming over here now. Grabbing my fillet, and they're hot. You can see that beautiful smoke, how it's turned. Press it down, hot grill. Beautiful fillet. We're gonna let it go for about two and a half minutes. Turn it around, cross hatch it up as best we can. And I'm I'm shooting for medium, about 140. I mean, I like medium rare. Anything other than rare and well done, and I'm perfect. Well done steak, you should have just ordered the chicken. That's how I that's how I see it. So move your asparagus around. The heat's gonna break the asparagus down. While it's here, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. This has been in the smoker, so it's kind of dried the seasoning in there. Look at that, beautiful cross hat. Let's turn it. Beautiful cross hat. Let's turn it. Big piece of meat. It's gonna have to sit there for a minute. Say maybe about five minutes. Alfredo is ready to go. Now look at it. Once you turn it off, it gets super creamy. This right here is gonna set that steak gonna take it to notches unknown. Let's move it out the way. Let's go ahead and get ready for the presentation shot. All right. Move the bowl. Get all this cleaned up. All right, let's get this out of the way. Now, we're gonna go ahead and flip it. Beautiful. 
Look at there. Money shot. Beautiful. Let it ride out. I'm going to look for anywhere between 125 and 130. If you want a medium, medium is usually about 140. Um, I like to take it off probably. But if I'm going to do medium, I take it off at 135. Let it walk its way up. Five degrees. Take this glove off. And don't let the asparagus dry out. That's the beautiful thing about this olive oil cooking spray. Now, I'm going to use this bowl for the asparagus. I'm going to use this again. All right. It's going to take a little while to get there. Now, what you could do is you can put the lid on and use the smoker, kick it down a little bit, choke it off. Use the smoker as an oven so that we can cook that filet even faster. Not worried about burning the asparagus. The asparagus is a part of the presentation that's going at the bottom. If you can't eat the asparagus other than the steak, then you, you know, <laughs> you came for the wrong reason. All right. That's good. You cut it off. That way you don't overcook your shrimp. Beautiful. No need to taste it. I know it's right. While I'm doing that also, I'm going to go ahead. This right here is a peppery arugula. We're going to finish this steak off with this arugula. Presentation. Presentation. Only thing you're missing is a baked potato. Presentation. All right. Instant read the mama. Let's check it out. See what we're looking at. Still got a ways to go. That one's probably gonna come off a little bit faster. Let me go ahead and turn them. Cross hat. While I'm in here, go ahead and get these asparagus moving around. Asparagus already ready to go. Let's take them off. In the bowl. One thing about asparagus, if you take them to their limp, you overdid it. They'll continue cooking on their own. I'm going to put the lid back on here, let that go for a few more minutes. Now, if you want to, of course, you could take olive oil and dress it out. Let's see what we got in here. We'll take some olive oil, dress it out. Take some hardened season. And just flip it. Just trying to keep your hands as clean as possible. That's ready to go. We're going to leave that right there. Leave that right there. And we are almost at the finish line. We're just waiting on these steaks. And we will be ready to go. So while I'm waiting on that, let me put some gloves on. I'm going to go ahead and get my boy ready to go. Presentation. We got two steaks. We want them to sit flat. Right there. Right there. All right. Check them out again. This one right here, medium rare, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. And I'm not going to sit it on the cutting board yet. I'm going to put it in this dish right here. I don't want all of the juices to go everywhere. We're going to spoon that back over. We'll take this one off too. Beautiful cross hatch. We're going to let those sit for about five minutes. Not about five minutes, about two minutes. Usually you want to let the meat rest for about five minutes. While that's going, let me turn this back on. I want this to be a little, I don't want it to be too thick. All right, get the area cleaned up. 
All right. Let's make the magic happen. One fillet. Two fillet. Thank you, Alfredo. Right there. I'm gonna come back over with that shrimp. Don't think I forgot about that shrimp. I'll leave the best for last. I wanna make sure we get some. Finish it off with two beautiful gold shrimp. And this, my friends, you would pay big money for at a steakhouse. Trust me. And if you had crab, crab would make it even better. You take your fresh arugula, hit it with a little bit on top or some spring onions. And there you have it, my friends. Beautiful filet with a nice uh, shrimp alfredo with a little bit of spinach. Finished off with a spicy peppery arugula. So, again, I want to thank you all for joining me here at Bamacue Live. I'm Eric from the Rolling Grill here on behalf of Western. Catch y'all in the next one.